Hi guys, it's Sunday, March, March 24th. <laughs> it's like 1 p.m. I spent this morning crocheting and editing um, the vlog that just went up today and it was so fun. I've been really enjoying um, content creation, so yay! And I saw that I have basically 175, it was like give or take a few, um, subscribers now so thanks guys welcome if you're new i'm anna i own um hooked up crochet llc in the state of kentucky i know that there's a much bigger content creator with the same name as me and i didn't even realize that till after i already made my business so <laughs> it is what it is but yeah i'm gonna show you guys the updates in the office i did a lot of work on it last night so yeah i'm gonna flip the camera around okay all my yarn got put on the shelf this isn't all of it. If I have like duplicates of colors and not room on the shelf for them, I just put them either in the ottoman or like in this closet, which this is a lot of storage. If you really want to see in the closet, I'll open the closet for you. But for now, yarn shelf. Um, this is like extra hooks and just like random things. And then these were the stuffed animals I made last week. So I think like any new stuff that hasn't been tagged or like just anything since my market on the 16th, I'm just gonna keep it in here. And then I filled up this bamboo shelf with like, um, like those are my business cards and events and all. <laughs> These are like random tools, which actually just can go in here because this is more stuff I use like regularly. I hate using my compression gloves, but I do use them sometimes. But yeah, the rest is just like random crochet tools. This is my little desk. This is the wallpaper that I wrapped around the standing folding desk. There's this. I think I showed you guys most of this before, but this is the chair. This was my grandpa's. Um, it was at his business that he owned for like 50 years. And I think this was the receptionist chair that they bought in the 70s and I inherited it, so. I'm gonna try to clean it or like reupholster it or something. This is my whip spin. We're not gonna talk about how many are in there. <laughs> a little whiteboard. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but destroy the patriarchy, not the planet. Facts. Then this is my little like cozy corner. Oh, hold on. This is my crochet notebook. I write like everything in here, but this is the ottoman that I was talking about that has lots of storage. <laughs> so much yarn in there. And then I am planning to work out in this room as well, so workout stuff. And then kind of like my altar space, but yep, that's the office. Hi friends, it's Monday at 12.09. Um, I have some errands to run, so I'm probably going to do that like immediately. But I wanted to show you all what I finished yesterday. Um, I finished another bunny. This one, I can't tell if I like the nose color. I might do pink instead, so I don't know. Let me know. Do you like the brown or should I try pink? But yeah, she's got little overalls. I decided to make it like a halter neck. <laughs> I don't know why. The pattern didn't say to do that, but I guess I was just feeling funky. Then gave her some little bows. But yeah, and then I also worked on, I think it's in the living room. I made a bunch of these swings. And I wanted to put like little frogs on them. I think I made six, six swings. And then I had a little frog. I don't know where the frog went, but when I sewed him on, I guess I didn't sew him on very well because he just immediately was like, and flipped over the swing. So then he was like swinging upside down, if that makes sense. So because I didn't follow a pattern, I guess I'm missing something. <laughs> so I might try to find like a free pattern on YouTube or something or Instagram, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. I really haven't crocheted today at all. Um, I woke up and just had some like admin stuff to do, like finance wise and um, making sure all my markets are in order and everything. And I'm auditioning for a musical soon. So I went ahead and practiced the dance choreography that they sent us, which is why I'm sweaty. And then um, I need to work on my resume and print a headshot and all sorts of stuff. but. We're not worrying about that right now. Right now, I need to run errands, so um, 
yeah, let's get that done. Hi guys, good morning. Let me set you up. Ooh, okay. It's Wednesday. Hello. There we go. Hi. Um, it's Wednesday morning. It's 10.30 at therapy at 2. Last night and yesterday. Oh, I'll show you what I made last night and yesterday. I'm feeling sick again, unfortunately. Um, so I didn't really feel like talking yesterday. I can't say I like super feel like talking right now either, but I did want to update you guys. I made these two blue octopi the other night. I think I might change this one's face um, and add blush to both of them, but um, I accidentally got my glue like on this part, not just on the eye, so I need to like fix that somehow. Um, and then that same night, I made these two and this guy, which I ran out of the navy, so a darker navy has taken over, but it's fine. Um, then, yes, girl, that had to have hurt. She just banged her head on the table. Um, I'm not very coordinated, mama. I gave up on the swing animals for some reason. I just couldn't get them to work and I was like, I could be doing other things. Then at work, I made a bunch of pigs yesterday. I made the bodies and then I stuffed them and embroidered once I got home. Um, and I made this little dude at work. But yeah, so two just like plain, plain pink. Two. Um, this colorway is called Raspberry Kisses. It's from Burnout Blanket. And then, yeah, this little guy. So, yeah, that's what I made the past few days. I'm in the mood to work with, like, parfait chunky size after all of this Burnout. So, that's the plan. With this, I just kind of became sick of this colorway. Um, I don't remember what it was called. It's a Burnout Blanket mix. And it's soft, like nothing really wrong with it. I just kind of don't like it very much. Like they're just not colors I would normally pick. I like the orange and the pink, obviously, but the teal and the navy are just like meh. Um, so I used up the last of it with these guys. But yeah, hopefully they sell. I'd rather not be stuck with them. Okay, but therapy, I just ate some oatmeal. Oh. Sorry. Um, I just tried to do my hair to fix this mess and it didn't work, so it's up. That's how we're doing it today. I just feel like it's so fluffy. It's because I slept in braids. I do not feel good. I wish I felt good, but hopefully I'll rest. I guess I won't work out today. Every time I work out, I feel like I get sick again, so. Um, I guess my body's telling me not to do that. This happens every single time I try to get back into like consistently working out, I get sick immediately. Um, and doctors say there's nothing wrong with me, so I don't know what it is. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I have no plan for what I'm gonna make today. I probably should see what my inventory is lacking before I just start making random shit, but, um, hopefully I'll update you later. If not, I'll update you tomorrow or the next day. Bye. Hi guys, it's Thursday night. Um, I just worked on the free giraffe, um, poppet pattern on Instagram. I think it's by Crochet Crochet. The second crochet has a Y at the end. Um, you don't stuff the head so that it can like pop um but I definitely like I messed it up for sure not this part necessarily but the head doesn't line up with the feet and then oh, sorry I'm losing my voice I can't figure out how to get the like um the frill on the tail so I think if I make this again as cute as it looks in posh I feel like I should make it in Bernat because so far it doesn't seem like super worth the time even though it's like adorable I think Burnout would be a little bit of a better choice for this.
Um, today at work, I actually ended up buying this mama and baby squid pattern on Etsy that I've been seeing everybody make. Let me pull it up so I could tell you who. Actually, I could just go to Gmail. Gmail. Zombie. Zombie. Also, remember how I said I'm on a yarn band? Placed a premiere order today. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> Two in one, no sew crochet pattern. It's by Plushy Co. Patterns. And it's just P L U S H I. No E. So Plushy Co. Patterns. But it's really cute. Um, I honestly don't feel like going to get the squids because I didn't even finish them. But we're probably gonna work on them tomorrow. So I'll show you. I made a red, orange, and like half of a yellow. I'm gonna do a rainbow and then I'm gonna make I think I'm gonna do the baby pattern for both, but I started the baby ones in Parfait Chunky. Cause that's my new like rule. I might have talked about this that I make new patterns in Parfait Chunky, Posh, Baby Bear, that size of yarn. Um and then I kind of base my pricing off of how long it took me at that size, if that makes sense. So then I can just kind of like mark up my burnout blanket sized ones. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to see how that works for me. But I think that's why this one like wasn't really worth it. <laughs> I wasn't trying to crochet fast, I will say. Like I was just kind of leisurely crocheting because I was super anxious. And so one of my coping skills is like... While I'm waiting for my anti-anxiety meds to kick in, I try a new crochet pattern so that it like completely occupies my brain. But I was just kind of like taking it really slow, not trying to let any cortisol spike at all. Um, but I feel like it took me like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and it is so tiny. But it is functional. I don't know. I would probably charge like 15 for this size. But I feel like that would be, I don't know, we're going to make it in brunette because it was a really cute pattern. It was really easy. I just think I did it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you guys the squids tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to work on for the rest of the night, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, I pulled out my camera to start talking and I just immediately started crying. I don't even know if I'll put this in the vlog. <laughs> I'm having just like a hard time this week. I feel so anxious and just like just struggling um but I finished the little cow I started last night another free Instagram pattern I kind of hate it <laughs> nothing wrong with the pattern I just I don't know oh, hold on sometimes when I cry my eyes just like burn intensely so I had to deal with that but um again nothing wrong with the pattern the pattern was written really well and like theirs looks really cute and the testers looks really cute I'm probably just feeling hard on myself and I think I sewed the ears on strangely I feel like this nose doesn't look right to me the eyes are uneven like I just feel like I keep <sighs> I haven't been motivated to like crank out just a bunch of um stuff I've been craving like trying something new and so, like, I keep trying stuff, and then I feel like I'm wasting my time. So. Oh, I feel so emotional. Also, I think I'm going to drop out of my May 11th market, which I've never done that before. But I just got so anxious last night about the location that it's in that I don't think I can do it. I'll try to say all of this later, maybe when I'm not crying. But, um, I don't know how real to be with you all, so just having a hard time okay it's a little later i've calmed down i don't know if i actually will put in the clip from earlier um but i was not okay i've just had really bad anxiety recently um and for some reason when i finished my little mini cow i don't know where i put it um which is a free pattern on you or on instagram and i'll i'll put who it's by i finished that in baby bear yarn because I like I said earlier like my new policy for myself um when I finished that I just was really unhappy with the way that it looks I think I just didn't pay enough attention to details but also like I find usually my first time I make a project it's not as good 
as it's going to be the next times, if that makes sense. Like the first time is always kind of me just figuring out the pattern, but then I get really hard on myself when the first time I make it, it's not cute or it's not perfect is probably a little bit more accurate. Sorry, you're like tilted. I had y'all <laughs> tilted over. Um, but I just did it in, I think all of this is big twist posh, except for this color, which is burnout. Um, this took me an hour and 10 minutes. I actually timed myself. So that would make the small one 1750, no 1725 if I'm like going by 15 an hour, which it was so small that I don't know if I'd feel comfortable charging 17 for that one. This one I would probably do 20 because it's pretty big. It's bigger than my normal $15 items. And I think it actually turned out super cute. So yeah, I think for this one and the giraffe pattern that I talked about last night, um, I would make them in actual six sized yarn, not the like five weight yarn that says it's six, like Parfait Chunky, Posh, Baby Bear. Um, I just don't know if either of them are like worth the time. If it's like over an hour for me, I just don't really think it's worth I don't know I don't know I don't have a completely formed opinion on that so I'm gonna stop talking but yeah so it's Friday so far this is what I've got going for me hopefully I don't have any more panic attacks today I'm gonna take my anxiety medicine preemptively tonight um because I'm clearly not well okay, I'm gonna show you guys the difference same pattern um, I did change this up. I added an extra row because I didn't like how flat this looked. Um, I did the ears wrong, so it looks almost like a puppy, and I did the eye patch in the wrong place. It's still not an eye patch, but at least it looks cuter on this one. Um, yeah. So they took the same amount of time. Here's my hand for reference. This one is so itty bitty. Um... But yeah, so this one to me would be worth like 20 bucks. I don't think this one would be worth even 15. Like it's just so small. It's more the size of my $10 products and I am not gonna charge 10 for this guy. Yeah, I think this guy's actually really cute. The pink isn't showing up very well on camera, um, but I mean, I'm happy with this one. Here's my little giraffe guy in the daylight again. I think if I made this pattern again, it would be better. Um, I also feel like you could mod this so that it isn't poppable. It's just like a little mini giraffe and I think that would look cute. Um, yeah, the bobbles aren't giving. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go run errands. And then I already went on a long walk today, but. I'd rather dance. I honestly feel like dancing, but I think I need to walk my dog he needs to get some energy out and then so yeah run errands walk dog and then I think I just want to work on like something super simple that I can just like crank out because I have not been feeling motivated to actually market prep um and earlier in the thing I filmed when I was sobbing I think I'm gonna drop out of my May 11th festival because I'm just not feeling right about it the location's freaking me out my anxiety's a little bit too intense um, for that specific location. So I do think I'm going to drop out. I hope that they'll refund me, but if not, I've kind of just become comfortable with taking the loss. So I've never done that before. I've never pulled out of a market and I've done a lot of markets. So I don't know. My gut's just telling me not to go, not to go. So bye. Good morning. It is Saturday at like 10 30. Um, I ended up not really film, or I'm sorry, it's Sunday. I don't know why I said Saturday. It is fully Sunday the 31st at 10 a.m. Um, I didn't film Friday evening or Saturday at all. We ended up going to a musical on Friday night. I just forgot that that was happening. And then um, Saturday we were at a competition thing um, for James's little brother. So yeah, I did not film very much 
but yesterday I did get a bunch of mini and like small size octos done so let me pull those out where that's gonna stay <laughs> but basically I just like picked four colors this is like um I think this is blush pink and Bernat it's super light uh raspberry premier parfait no premier basics chenille poppy in premiere and hibiscus in premiere so I picked these colors because I thought like I'll start with my like reds pinks and then I made minis in all of those too so that's pretty much all I did yesterday I can't think of anything else I crocheted um because we were kind of busy but also like I've just been crocheting slowly so um that's that. Today, I'm gonna stuff the three squids that I got done at work last week. I'm gonna stuff them and embroider the faces so then I have those done. And then this week coming up, I think I'm gonna work on squids at work. And then, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep working through my little checklist that I made. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but I was feeling super stressed out on Friday. Um, and so I just went ahead and made like a market prep checklist for myself. Because I think I sometimes need visuals. So yeah, I did that and it's a lot. And I, oh, I don't even think I told you guys. I signed up for um, a market on April 13th because I dropped out of the May 11th one. Um, and I was, I had been upset that I like couldn't get into an April one, but I found a cool one, I think. Um, it was kind of expensive, but hopefully it's good. So we actually have a market coming up even sooner than I thought. Okay, bye guys. Um, I'll talk to you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great week coming up, a great day today. Um, I hope your thoughts are filled with some joy and peace today. And, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.